Hi there, welcome to my channel. Like many people out there, I have a bunch of cases for my iPhone 11. Most are practical, they have simple designs, usually clear or translucent, and other cases that I have have multiple functions. Like this one, it doubles as a wallet and uses that little button slash clip area to work as a holder and a stand. And I also have really obscure cases where this one's a really bright selfie light. It's for those days when I'm really feeling myself, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But with every new phone that I get, I tend to get different cases for different occasions. I'm surprised that it took me this long to get a case that appeals to one of my fandoms. And in this case, pun intended, it involves anime. In addition, this case is really unique because I've never owned a case that has a backplate that can be swapped out for a different design. Anyway, so I love anime. And not to seem basic, as you can all see, this is Kakashi from Naruto. So most people either love Naruto or you think it's really overrated. And I happen to be a diehard fan, so when I found this amazing case with replaceable backplates, it was a must buy. So I'm going to open this up and check out the design as well as check out the quality of the case itself. So a little information about the case and where I got it. So this is the Pika Vinci, I love that name, Switch Me iPhone 11 case from Amazon. And I bought this recently for $15.99. So I actually got this two days ago, so Amazon's back to their one to two day shipping. So I'm glad that that's kind of back on track. And I'll drop a link down below in the description for those who are interested. So I mentioned earlier that this case is very unique because it has swappable backplates. And upon looking at the product page on Amazon, they do sell backplates on their own. And from what I see, there's a limited selection, but there are more Naruto backplates as well as Demon Slayer designs. So upon holding the case for the first time, it feels durable. And surprisingly, the design is really vibrant and pops nicely. I forgot to mention that each case does come with two backplates, so you get two designs and the backplate itself is pretty thick <laughs> pretty thick and i'm 99 sure it's made out of plastic so just like the first backplate the second backplate is a high quality image of kakashi and it's just as vibrant and i'm really curious how long these images will last with everyday use so i'll definitely make an update video if it wears out quickly so i'm gonna swap out the majora's mask pad because it was distracting me so <laughs> don't mind my dusty gaming mouse pad but with the backplates having a lot of clear areas it's a bit easier to see with this background let's take a closer look at the case and see the overall thickness and quality and as I get a better feel for it as I just hold it for a little bit I should be able to assess if it can protect my phone or not just a little disclaimer for new viewers to my channel I don't do drop tests because I don't get these things for free and I can't waste hundreds of dollars for a new phone if anything were to happen or even $20 for a new case but if I were to ever drop this in the real world where this case is on and my phone gets shattered because of this case i definitely make a video showcasing that so if anything happens i will definitely document everything but back to the case so there's a nice little thickness to both the back plate and the case itself and before we get the iphone 11 in there i actually want to show off how easy it is to replace the back plates so here's a little side by side with the phone really nice dimensions and to replace the back plates all you do is pull on the longer sides of the case and you just push it out with your thumbs and it just pops out just like that fun fact if you're looking for a bumper case for your iphone this actually doubles as that too so just don't put a back plate in but anyway reinserting the plates are really simple as you can see the case is two-toned and the gray side is the front while the back side is the back and you'll notice a little groove throughout the black side and each corner on the black side there's little gray circles so you have a bit of a focal point to get the corners in so to begin you insert the back plate face down and i mentioned the circles where the corners are earlier because the instructions state to start with the top corners when inserting the back plate so you just kind of line it up with the grooves and as you press in it should click into place and you may be able to hear it faintly but they have clicked into place and I like using the cutout area where the camera is on those top corners to kind of stick my finger in there and kind of lodge it into that corner but essentially as soon as you get two corners in the other two corners should click as soon as you press down on it and it's that easy so everything's nice and secure and i'm finally going to put my iphone 11 inside this case and we'll see how it looks with most cases as you insert your phone it snaps into place and that's how you know it's safely in there so so far it has a really nice profile it doesn't add too much bulk to the phone but there is a good amount of thickness that makes it feel secure so on the front side i really enjoy how the bezel of the case is raised so if you put your phone face down somewhere the screen isn't touching the surface and i forgot that the video sped up some off a bit but all of the buttons can be easily pressed and the iphone silent switch is accessible and easy 
easy to turn on and turn off. So let's take another quick look around the phone. Here's a side profile. You see all the buttons in the silent switch, the speakers and the lightning port. There's the power button or on and off button. And everything looks nice. Everything's raised. So if you put your phone face down, as I mentioned, it won't touch the surface. The back panel image looks amazing. But if there's one thing that could be improved upon is that I wish they utilized the Apple logo somehow. But other than that, it looks so great. So let's take off the case and I want to swap the back panels one more time just to show off how easy that is. As well as show off what the other image looks like with the iPhone inserted into the case. So we're going to get the case put in the same exact way. We're going to focus on the bottom corners. But I kind of messed up and I put it in backwards. So the gray side's the front black sides the back remember that vg thing okay <laughs> so it's way easier to put in now as i mentioned earlier i like to start with the bottom corners and then i move my way up to the top corners you should all hear the clicks faintly i kind of have the gain down for that video as i do this voiceover but you should be able to hear it and there's the first back panel back on and it looks really nice and as i mentioned earlier you just kind of insert your phone snaps into place and it's that simple. So on my first look around with the case on, I forgot to show off the backside profile. And I mentioned that the back panel is pretty thick. So that should add some more security and along with the bumper helps protect your camera. So as you can see from this angle, the camera is set deeper into the case. So just like the front side, if you're a person who places their phone camera side down, your camera is protected. So everything is nice and set. Here's what the first panel looks like. And just as I mentioned earlier, I wish they implemented the Apple logo with these designs. And it would have been a perfect opportunity to place Kakashi's lightning blade right at the Apple logo. They could have made them smaller just to make it fit, but... Wasted opportunity aside, I still enjoy the nice vivid image and I really do hope that this can handle everyday wear and tear because this is currently my favorite case. So once again, this is the Pika Vinci <laughs> Switch Me iPhone 11 case and I'll leave a link down below for those who are interested in checking it out on Amazon. Thanks for taking the time to visit my channel and if you really enjoyed this video, please feel free to check out these others. They might interest you in some way, shape or form and if you really enjoyed hanging out with me, please consider subscribing to to be the first to know when I upload something new. So hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Please stay safe out there. See you all soon. Bye.